do an update here on the temp and 21.6. I guess we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I make it through the night. So I settled on this little gate here because there's a lot of ice on the roads. And I was actually questioning getting up here because it was all kind of a steep uphill. So coming back down, if you start to slide, that's it. That road back there keeps going through this logged out area and uh, looks like these tracks, one vehicle came through, came back out. Where I think we're going to go is over there in those trees. So I should be able to get something going. Just got to be quick with it. Running out of light. Well, I think that changes things. Well, it looks like there's a little opening here. Can be a nice view. It's a mountain over here. Yeah, five inches. Hmm. Have to think about it. Chair, table, check. And this is what I wanted to show. I got a thermometer out here. Twenty-four degrees Fahrenheit, seventy-two percent humidity. Okay, so I think the tent is gonna go right there. That's the plan. I'm gonna use some of these branches to hang a tarp from. Is it supposed to rain? Vehicle's only about 200 feet away, up the snow, up and over. So worst case, I retreat there.
the sleeping bag to try. 20 degrees. Should be good. And ready for bed. Not now, of course, but... I do have a place to hang a light. Okay. Do an update here on the temp and 21.6. I have a candle here. <laughs> I guess it'd be interesting to see if I could spark. Ah. I lit the candle. Well, camp is officially set up, so I guess things to do now are build the fire, or also wanted to hang that tarp, or I make a coffee. Hmm. Or I just sit and relax for a minute. Okay. There's the tarp. You know, just kind of like an emergency if it starts raining. I can kind of just duck under here. Plenty of room to porch area and then the water should run off like so down right to where the fire will be <laughs> but yeah I don't expect there to be rain until 3 a.m. so should be done out here anyway
I find the smallest, driest twigs that will hopefully catch. Come on, baby. Doesn't even want to stay lit. Well, unfortunately, the fire was a bust. Couldn't get that going. Everything's too wet. I got it close, but... Yeah. So, anyway, I think I'm going to make a coffee to warm up. I'll tell you what, this... <laughs> It was just a little bit easier to see with this light. Okay. That's, uh, this is gonna be my cup. <laughs> so I guess that's probably like, that doesn't say, well, I guess like eight ounces. Uh, yeah. Cap this off and it should heat up just a little bit quicker. Yeah, that's interesting to see that there was um, some other people coming up. I mean, what's the time? I can check. Oh, I can feel it on my neck. Time is 7.45, 21 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, it's close. Look at that. Steaming. My coffee in. The whole time I've been turning it the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Let that sit for a second while it cools down. And we're going to boil some more water for dinner. Oh my God, that is so good. <laughs> it's so easy to drink this coffee. It goes down so quick. Okay, let's get the um, the meal out, huh? What do we got, what do we got? Top ramen with like a mushroom chickpea burger. I was curious if I dumped it in here if that would be good, but I don't know. I didn't look it up ahead of time. I feel like this would probably melt. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to cook it in here. It's not going <laughs> so I know. Come on. <laughs> Everything's so much harder up here in the mountains. There we go. Ah, only spilled a little bit. Oh snap, I forgot I had this. That was the whole point of this, huh? Already cooked. This table's just a little unpredictable. See what's going on here?
right, I guess uh, let's do the taste test. Oh man, it smells delicious. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's a good half. Yep, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the vehicle and uh, put the food away. I can also make sure the car starts. That's it for me. I made it in the uh, inside the tent. And I'm in the sleeping bag. I'm feeling feeling better already. Let's see. Temperature is 25.7. So it is a little warmer in here. Five degrees warmer almost. And uh and yeah. I guess we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I make it through the night. Temperature 32 degrees. Got some icicles forming. And that feels very heavy. And I think what happened is the tarp collapsed. That's what I'm expecting to see. Yep, there you go. There's the tarp. Well, let's see what time we got. Time is 439. This thing keeps fogging up. Tent held up. But everything underneath the tent just like this. It's getting soaked. Freezing rain, fellas. Freezing rain. Pure ice. All right. Well, let's get to fixing. Just completely covered, like all on this. Look at that. So, I'm going to tear this all down. over.
just finished packing everything up. It's uh, 5.45 a.m. and I'm glad to be out of there. I'm not too concerned about where it's level. It's more of a steep decline. These roads are so slick. Can't even, yep, there it is, right here. Can't walk on it. There was a little slight decline right at a fork in the road. And that was a good test to see how it handled and it just slid all over the place. Luckily there wasn't a drop on the, the side that was, you know, somewhere I'd lose the vehicle. It was just like a ditch, but scary enough that I could have went in the ditch, no service. Being out here this cold, I had to hike who knows how far to get a signal. But uh, anyways, let's make a coffee. As you see, I got on another jacket. Luckily, I brought a second one. The other one got soaked there, tearing down camp. Right up over here, the sun's gonna be rising soon. That'd be pretty sweet to watch from this viewpoint. This time I'm gonna take the same meal, top ramen with the mushroom burger, and I'm gonna put it in this soup can. Look in there, <laughs> this, this pretty much tops it out. Mm. like we were gonna have a sunrise but I can't tell if that's rain or snow basically it's just a waiting game now it's raining again that Sun on the horizon is completely gone and now it's just like it's almost like a thick fog I can't even see the horizon so I'm not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing to help get rid of this ice on the roads. I filled it to the brim, so half expecting it to spill everywhere. I heard something. Okay. It looks like it absorbed all the water and it smells delicious, so.
once you get going downhill, there's no stopping. And the only way to get control back is to let go of the brakes. That picks up momentum. And you gotta tap the brakes again to slow it down. You lose control. It's just a sketchy game to play. And nobody else has come up here. <laughs> I don't know if those two people that passed me last night are still up here if they went home. But hopefully they're all right. Found this little forest straight across the street. It looks like there's a game trail, so got geared up. Figured I'd try it out. Kind of looks like it goes this way or this way. It doesn't really matter. On top of that, though, I'm gonna see if I can. Get some sort of service back here. <laughs> 